Hi, I'm Mori. Welcome to the 1.0 release of Not Enough Updates. Not Enough Updates is a mod made for Hypixel's Skyblock game mode. Uh, the mod aims to provide a number of unique features uh, that can't be found in any other mod. So just briefly, I'll go over the list of features. If you want to skip to a, a particular showcase of a feature, there will be a uh, timestamp in the description. So we have the Skyblock item list and recipe viewer, uh, quick commands, custom auction house, item collection log, and dungeon chest profit tracker. All right, so to begin with, if you have uh, any problems with the mod, if you type in slash any you links, uh, you get this. Uh, so if you have any problems with the mod, just go ahead and jump into the Discord and I'll be able to help you. Uh, you have my YouTube channel, the uh, releases thing here. So if you, if you click on this, you'll be able to find the latest release of the mod. Uh, and the GitHub page, if you uh, want, want to have a look at the source code, because the mod is open source. All right, uh, if you want to modify settings of the mod, uh, go ahead and click this cog wheel over here. There's a number of settings that are available. I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory, and if you need more explanation, you can hover over it here. Uh, you can just generally change the, the way the mod looks as well. Uh, additionally, if you want to change some of the key bindings, uh, you can do so by going to controls here, and you can change some of the key binds uh, like that. Uh, if you want to look at the uh, help page, you can go ahead and click on this. You can get a description of the mod. Oh, this is the features, um, stuff about the API, controls, um, et cetera, et cetera, and some credits down here. All right, without further ado, let's get into the mod. So if you open up your inventory and you hover over this thing over here, you'll see it brings up this GUI. This is a list of pretty much every item in the game. Uh, of course, I currently need to keep this up to date manually, so it might not be 100% accurate, uh, but I, I will try to keep it up to date. Um, okay, so you can go through the different pages, you can look at the different items. Uh, you also have various filtering options down here, so you can filter by um, mobs, this is incomplete currently, um, pets and enchanted books apparently, uh, tools, weapons, armor, accessories. Uh, in addition to be able to filter the type, you can also change the ordering, so you can do reverse alphabetical, you could order by rarity, uh, right clicking reverses the order, uh, or by the worth of the item. Uh, Alright, so... Recipes, if you, if you left click on an item or press R on your keyboard, uh, you'll look at the recipe. So where's an item with a recipe? Sure aspect at the end of here. So if we, if we left click this, as you see, it brings up at this aspect of the end. Uh, and the same thing happens if you press R in your inventory, it will bring up this GUI. If you don't have the recipe unlocked, so for example, Catalyst, I know I don't have unlocked. If I go ahead and left click this, it will bring up this GUI and tell you the recipe. So even if you don't have it unlocked, you can still view uh, recipes. Uh, you can also view the usage for items. So uh, if I go to the aspect of the end and I hit U, uh, this also works on the item list. Uh, you see it brings up this item usages thing. So you can go through and you can see what are all the different usages for. And then if you like left click, you can view the recipe and, and so on and so forth. Uh, the last feature relating to the item list is the in-game wiki. So for example, um, aspect of the dragons, uh, you see it says RMB, view additional information. If you right click on this, it's going to uh, render this web page. This is from the uh, Skyblock wiki. So it uses information directly from there. And you can scroll through and you can you, um, see different, all this information about the aspect of the dragons. Uh, you can also add items as favorites. So if you press F, uh, you can see it adds uh, different favorites to the item list. And that's pretty much everything to do with the item list. Uh, next, we have quick commands. So quick commands you can find above here. Um, and you can go ahead and you can click them. Now, don't tell anyone I said this, but you can add your own quick commands using the config. Now, I'm not going to tell you how because they might be macros, but <laughs> there you go. So, so we have, you know, and then we can click on this to view a crafting table, ender chest, wardrobe, pets menu, uh, collection log, and, and any new auction house I get into a second. So yeah, so it's so a quick command, just provide some convenience features for navigating uh, to various uh, commonly used aspects of the Skyblock menu that might otherwise take, you know, a number of clicks. So we have the auction house. This one's going to be a long one. So if you type in it's like N-E-U-A-H, like so, or you click the any auction house over here, it will bring up this GUI. Of course, you need to have your API key set. I, I, I forgot to mention this, uh, but you need to put your API key in here. If you don't know what your API key is, you can type slash API new in chat and um, it will automatically copy it. Okay, but uh, slash any AH. So this is pretty much a complete replica of the existing auction house. So uh, pretty much everything you can do with the regular auction house, you can do in this auction house. Uh, except for creating auctions, you can't create auctions using this auction house. Um, so, if, you know, for example, you have, you have searching, you can filter by combat tools, pets. Uh, there's a whole bunch of um, different categories that, that I've added here to, to make um, searching for an item even easier. Um, of course, you can filter by highest bid, lowest bid, ending soon. Uh, you can filter by the rarity of the item. 
Uh, I'll get to the my options thing in a second. You can filter by buy now, options only, etc. You can also filter by the enchant type. So you can only filter by clean items. Um, you just sort of reload there. Uh, you can filter by enchant only. And you can filter by enchant and hot potato, max hot potato book only. So you, you'd have a lot of uh, filtering options here. Uh, of course, if you left click on an item, uh, there was an error. Okay, so that, one, that one's ended. Okay. Uh, let's go to ending soon over here. So where's something? Okay, so this rare diamond, if I go ahead and... No, Hypix were having a bit of a fit there for some reason, but um, if you go ahead and left click on, on one of these items, you'll see it brings up this auction view over here. Uh, and you go ahead and, and look at the item. You can go ahead and look at the, the bid history. You can submit a new bid. Uh, you can change the bid amount. So you click this, you can you can you know, uh, say I want to bid 999 coins. I can do that and I can set the amount and it will change it. And okay, let's go ahead and bid on this. We can confirm bid. As you can see, um, it tells me, okay, so this is this is my thing. And you can see in chat, um, it gives you a message here saying the rare drive near bid on is ending soon. So this is because I have, um, what is the AH notification here? So two minutes, you can, you can change that. You can disable that if you want. Um, and then of course, if you go to filter by my auctions, you can, you can view this auction here. Um, and using this, you can you can like um, collect the item or it will it will notify you in chat once your auction has ended. So you can do it that way as well. All right, and then we have our searching as well. So obviously you can search by the item type. So dragon uh, aspect of the dragon, whatever. Uh, of course, there's the same Boolean searching in this. You can do aspect and sharpness. And so I'm going to show you um, stuff that has aspect and sharpness in it. I don't know. Um, the, the searching is quite powerful. So you, you can mess around with that in your own time, um, see what you can do with it. And yeah, in a nutshell, that's the auction house. Extremely, extremely powerful. Um, yeah, just go nuts with that one. <laughs> Next, we have the collection log. So if we type slash N-E-U-C-L in chat, uh, it brings up this GUI over here. So um, this feature is designed for people that like to, uh, you know, collect every item or whatever. So uh, as you see, it has listed pretty much every item. Uh, you can change what's being filtered, weapon, armor, accessory, pet, tool, zombie slayer, wolf slayer, spider slayer. Um, as, as you, you can track how much of a, an item you have collected. Um, obviously, you can only keep track of items while you have the mod running. So yeah, so but, but as, you, as you play, it will slowly populate this list uh, with the items you have collected. Um, so you, you can see how close you are to 100% completion um, and, and that sort of thing. So that is the that is the collection log. Uh, and the last thing I have on the list is the dungeon chest profit tracker. So uh, I'm not going to jump into a dungeons run right here. I'm going to try to see if I can put a screenshot on the screen for you now. Um, and and that's basically what it looks like. So it tells you whether you're going to make profit or not. Um, that sort of thing. So and that's really the entire mod in a nutshell. So I'm definitely going to look at adding um, some more stuff in the future. I do have a lot of um, cool new features planned. Uh, so if you want to you know stay up to date to that, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, join the Discord, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed. I hope you find a use for the mod. Hope you like it. Uh, I will see you guys later.